Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Neil sends me an email and says, Dr. Jeff, so I thought I would ask you about this since I know you are extremely knowledgeable. What are your thoughts on vegan protein powders? I've heard if it has a complete amino acid profile, you're going to gain muscle like you would with whey. Some of the brands are saying they are the gold standard to protein and you should never drink proteins like whey protein. Thanks and all the best. Well, Neil, vegan protein powders <laughs> are making a lot of hype and claims out there, but it all comes down to how much your body can absorb. I don't care what somebody's marketing claims that their protein powder is better than the next. You gotta look at the scientific values, the numbers. And when you turn to science, when you turn to um, research, you'll find that your whey proteins have your highest biological value. That means more of it's going to be absorbed than any other protein source. So in my opinion, if you're looking for the best protein source, you want to stick with your whey proteins. Uh, whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate, not much difference between those two. Um, you know, five or six percent uh, protein, a little less lactose. But other than that, very similar when it comes to biological values. Um, vegan proteins, now if you are vegan or vegetarian, obviously you have to use those and protein is very tough to get in. But if you're not and you don't have uh, some milk tolerant, intolerance, I would not recommend them. Um, I'm not a fan of soy protein. Uh, first of all, it's not a complete protein. It has to be fortified with L-methionine in order for it to be complete. It's not absorbed very good. Um, I don't like hemp protein powders. Um, I'm not a big fan of wheat protein because of all the gluten. The only vegan protein that I do like um, is from peas, lentils, garbanzo, which are the pulse crops. But the issue is most of those are all being, actually all of them are being processed in China other than the one I'm doing here in Montana. So it just messes up the whole quality. They're contaminated, high in microbial, high in heavy metals. Now I have a pea protein that is coming from Montana peas and I'm actually fractionating here in uh, the Billings Montana plant at All American Pharmaceutical um, soon to uh, release, but I'll keep you posted uh, moving forward. You gotta remember proteins are absorbed at different times. So some of your calcium caseinates, your milk proteins, those are absorbed a little bit slower and that's why the biological value, the PERs aren't quite as good as whey protein concentrate. So again, don't be deceived by all of the fancy fluff and don't buy the cheapest protein because we know most of those that are sold in the big box stores and the, uh, the discount uh, wholesale clubs uh, are all adulterated. They've been cut, spiked with amino acids, cut with sugar and maltodextrin. And again, you're paying good money for pure protein. So stick to good quality brands like EF Exports. Um, and you will go well. I hope that helps, and I will catch you next time.